Okay, we're back here at IBM Edge in Las Vegas. This is ground zero for the transformation of infrastructure. Storage is a platform. Storage is the center of the value proposition and the transformation of the marketplace where data is the new competitive advantage. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's coverage of theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, and start to see them from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm here with my co-host. Hi everybody, I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. Sebastian Krauss is here. He's the Vice President of uh, Global Sales for our IBM Storage Group. Sebastian, welcome back. What has transpired since April 11th in, in the client base in terms of uh, the uptake and, and the enthusiasm around Flash? Well Dave, as you said, on, on April 11th we made the big um, Flash Forward initiative um, which we have announced in New York after we have done uh, all the blue washing on the products of Texas Memory System, the company we acquired in August. Since then we have seen a tremendous dynamic in the marketplace on this initiative. Um, I believe there is not a single customer in an industry that currently is not thinking about how to replace mechanical drives with flash drives. For many reasons. A, um, companies are running out of space, they want to be more in, in, uh, energy efficient. Um, certainly also the uh, performance on the application side is something which is extremely important to them. And since we've talked last time here in the Cube, I think it has become an even more compelling reason to think about uh, flash initiatives and leveraging flash as a technology. Sebastian, what's your strategy for storage or data? How do you respond? Well, I think there are, first of all, we are taking it from an angle of client needs and client's requirements. I think which is a wise thing to do when you're forming your strategy. So first thing, customers have different needs and even the same customer can have different needs. So if you think about what Ambush mentioning this morning about business critical needs and the economic impact of not complying to that, that you would have your system down, you would lose millions or hundreds of millions of dollars in your business, that is something that customers cannot afford. And for every industry, for every customer, it means something different. But it's on us to ensure that we provide these high mission critical application systems supporting or being supported by storage systems, making sure that they can stay online. That's the piece where Ambush talked about. It needs to be open, it needs to be um, industry specific and basically partners should be um, able to basically plug on their application and their programmable solutions on top of it. And then there's really the third piece which is the data intensity, which is more like a solution orientation, which, which could be data protection and retention, which could be something in the high end um, scale um, of file systems for certain industry. Think about, um, for example, in the university area, in the medical area, that's the third leg of the stool. And then last, but certainly not least, that's flash. And flash is basically almost everywhere. And then there's really the third piece, which is the data intensity, which is more like a solution orientation, which, which could be data protection and retention, which could be something in the high end um, scale um, of file systems for certain industry. Think about, um, for example, in the university area, in the medical area, that's the third leg of the stool. And then last, but certainly not least, that's Flash. And Flash is basically almost everywhere right now. Flash plays is a market segment by itself when it comes to application performance, database acceleration, but it also plays in the other three areas. So can you talk about the open piece? That's, people are very interested by that open angle. I think it's, I mean, if you think about how our industry um, went along, it's all about creating a platform, enabling the industry participants, whether these are ISVs, whether these are partners, whether these are clients by itself, to basically plug on that platform to, to, to basically satisfy their needs and to ensure that they can um, harmonize within their infrastructure yeah. what they would like to do. You guys agree with that? I mean, obviously, there's still need for disk, certainly faster, more, less expensive, uh, but Flash is not going to necessarily overtake, some say, that quickly. Um, well, do you have I, a perspective on that? John, I, I would uh, take a look at that from two angles. First of all, I don't think that anytime soon the data uh, explosion is going to stop with all the different medias that we are having at this point in time, with the social media, with the different devices that are coming in, both on the consumer side, but more importantly now also on the business side, where customers really have to cope with this majority of the data, with the vast explosion that is happening, that is clearly something which they have to take care of. So data volumes will increase significantly, between 50, maybe even up to 70% a year. But the way to handle this, I think, um, has become definitely different. Um, first of all, we talked about tiering for a long period of time. So tiering is a technology that will enable customers to use Flash almost immediately as a plug-in, but then also to reduce their total cost of ownership of their entire infrastructure. So where Flash basically improves the performance 
um, of the application of the entire infrastructure and gives you that edge that you need to basically have fast IOPS and give it an edge towards your customer experience and your client experience on the web. It also provides you with a tier that you can seamlessly integrate into your tiered infrastructure. Proof of concepts. Are you seeing the accelerated phase? Of, talk about the kind of dynamic you're seeing, because those kinds of customers are, are bringing proof of concepts in and rolling them out fast. Are they, are they highly accelerated now? And what, what's, add some color to the, these proof of concepts as they dig in and invest. They are. Um, proof of concepts more than, than I think any time that I have seen it in the past are currently providing the proof points to the customer, the value to the customer, to go down the path of, of the strategy we just discussed and to implement it fast. So basically, get a fix for now, but also have the strategic angle. So customers are requiring those proof of concepts. In most of those cases that I'm aware of, customers stay with that proof of concept gear that they have, and they basically implement that solution immediately. Okay, Sebastian Krauss here at IBM, obviously talking to customers, obviously huge demand for the quick fix, deal with the tsunami of data, new, new technology, as well as build a roadmap. Uh, congratulations, thanks for your time. This is theCUBE, our flagship program, got the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.